Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and I'm with Amy and Ian and Kimberly. And today we're sitting here and we're going to minister uh, to these uh, 13 uh, people that's on the list there on the left of your screen. So uh, uh, the first person I want to minister to do today is Selma. So Selma, I was praying about you and the Lord showed me a second term, a second mandate, uh, a mandate of government that is giving to you and the Lord says this time is going to be even better and bigger He's going to give you more finances He's going to give you more support and you're also going to know you're going to have more wisdom to know what to do and so the Lord says uh, impact 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 and just like you throw a rock onto the water and you see that little circles so the impact will be uh, that's coming through your life. God bless you so much. Amen. Salma, God loves you so much. I just see you out there giving, sowing, being so obedient to God and I just feel the Lord says good and faithful servant. And then I see, I, I saw a picture, this was a very interesting one, where you were giving to, to like, you were like feeding people, giving them soup and, and obviously food represents the word of God and I just saw how you were just really serving people and loving people and, and, and the word says the first will be last, last will be first and I just see how you've taken up so much leadership but then there were opportunities where it, it was it was cold and there were opportunities for you to like get a blanket or to get a jacket while you're doing this but then you rejected the jacket and you said no 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 I don't need it because I'm going to keep on going I'm going to do this in the cold because I'm strong and I just see how God keeps on trying to give you a jacket because it's cold and I just feel how the Lord says you are strong keep on going but I am sending people into your life I am giving you resources and the Lord says I'm going to bless your work so the Lord says I have a lot of gifts and presence for you I want you to receive it so I just feel the Lord says receive it okay don't reject the the, the jackets don't reject the the gifts that he has for you because I really feel um Salma that God wants to give that to you God loves you God bless you thank you Salma for being here tonight or today please write us a comment we love to hear from you uh, the next one is for Paul Basson Paul the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a carpet that is over a wire and normally the old carpet you you use something to hit out all of the stubborn dirt and dust and that don't worry god is not gonna hit you with a stick uh, but he says there's things in your life that takes more force and more effort to get out uh, there's things that uh, he wants to help you to move out of the way so that you are like a new smelling clean rug where when you worship when you sit down when you enjoy you don't focus on what is wrong but you just see the beauty of this carpet and the lord says it is not a process to punish you but it's actually to bring the beauty within you out so that other people can see what you can do be blessed Amen. And Paul, the Lord shows me new depth that He is going to that He is going to give you a new revelation to His Word. The Lord shows me how you go into the Spirit and on this ocean that you that you throw your 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 fishing rod, not the rod, the the thing, pole. the pole. I don't know what it is. That you throw it in and then you retrieve this. And how you share it with your family and how the Lord really wants you to be a messenger and the priest of the home that is going to help bring this fresh word, this fresh revelation, especially to your family. Be blessed. Okay, Paul, uh, I just see how the Lord takes the recipe away and he says it's all about relationship. And, you know, sometimes we can uh, walk through our lives and know, okay, if I declare this, if I pray like this, if I read this verse, if I build my faith in this way, then that's the outcome. And I just feel that the Lord is kind of taking that recipe out. <laughs> and He just says, you know, just walk with me. You know, uh, guys like Noah and Abraham, uh, they didn't have a Bible to go and read. Uh, all they had was just walking with God. And God showed them things and talked to them. And I felt that is what God wants to do with you also. God bless you, Paul. Um, excuse Kimi that she didn't know about fishing, but uh, <laughs> it's your fault. she says it's my fault because I haven't showed her how to fish. Uh, but she's gonna get a farmer one day and then he's gonna show her how to fish. <laughs> All right, awesome. So uh, the next word is for uh, Anna Marie Strijdom. Uh, Anna Marie, uh, the Lord showed me how you get in your car and you go and visit different people, and even as you do that, you make new friends, you have more impact, and you just network. 
And so I felt that the Lord says, I'm taking you out of isolation and I'm helping you to break that barriers. And you're going to just really, although you're not naturally maybe a person that wants to have a hundred friends and be very social, I see how the Lord is just helping you to break that social barriers. God bless you, Anna Marie. Hey Amen. Anna Marie, God loves you so much. The picture God showed me for you was how he was giving you new ballet shoes. And I know obviously um, uh, you have to start with, you can't start with the ballet um, ballerina shoe, shoes with the points because it's just, you have to strengthen yourself before you get to that place. And also it, you're, you're, it, it's sore and, and it's uncomfortable at first. And I just feel how the Lord is, there is something that's brand new that you're, a new level that you're going into. And I just feel the Lord say, I'm with you keep on practicing keep on strengthening and and I just see how how the more you train it just becomes so beautiful and I just feel how the Lord says that I'm creating you for a dance to create something so wonderful that's going to touch so many people's lives so the Lord says don't stop practicing don't stop studying don't give up I'm with you and then lastly wisdom God is giving you so much wisdom for your words when to speak when not to speak and it's really going to bless a lot of people God loves you God bless you Okay, thank you, Anna Marie, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Susan. Susan, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of goalposts. Uh, now, when you kick a rugby ball over the post, you are like, okay, Lord, because I'm getting older, uh, it's acceptable to kick it underneath the post. And the Lord says, no, because you are more mature, because you have got a lot of wisdom and everything you've gained through the years, it doesn't mean your goals have to be lower. In actual fact, it needs to be higher because you've got all of this experience. And the Lord says, I want you to use it. I want you uh, not to... to um, to, to aim lower I want you to aim higher because in you has got is still a lot of ability but also you can achieve a lot be blessed Amen, Susan. The Lord is just wanting to remind you how important it is to go and spend time in His presence, spend time at His feet, laying it all down, reading the Word with the Holy Spirit. Even if you have read that book in the Bible before, read it again and ask for new revelation. The Lord shows me that He wants to place His scent on you. Like if you are hugging like a, like a friend or, or, or when you hug your dad, you smell like them. And the Lord says that he wants to place his scent on you that when you are around others that they they will see how your attitude has changed how, how the, you have so much more joy how you have so much more peace and that all comes from spending time and having a relationship with Jesus be blessed hi Susan God is very uh, proud of you he loved you very very much uh, you are amazing uh, please write us a comment um, thank you for being part of our lives uh, so I want to minister to Lynn uh, so Lynn, the Lord shows me three steps. The first step is healing. The next step is joy. And then the third step is adventure. And I just felt that the Lord says, He's going to heal you completely. Uh, he's going to give you more joy. And He's going to take you on an adventure. And I felt the, the rest of 2024 is really going to be uh, fun, new adventurous things that the Lord is going to bring into your life. God bless you, Lynn. Amen, Lynn. God loves you very much. I just feel how the Lord says He's giving you new music, how the Lord is singing over you and you're just hearing new songs from God. And, and I just feel how the Lord says He's bringing you and restoring so much peace in your heart and healing. Um, and Because He's called you also not only to receive that, but also to pray for people to receive healing. There's a breakthrough that God is doing in, in your family. And then Lynn, I just feel leadership. There, there there's so much, um, there, there's a lot of strategy and, and just life skills and leadership that God is right now training you up in. God loves you, Lynn. God bless you. Thank you, Lynn, for being here today. Please write us a comment. We love to hear from you. Today. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's tonight or today, whatever it is where, where you are at. <laughs> so the next word is for Marina. Marina, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a paving area, area that's been paved, uh, but you started with a, a section and you paved and now you're getting to an old section so the lines doesn't match up and the Lord says rather than to just do a patch job which is never going to look good and be satisfied with it uh, take out the old ones so you reuse the old ones but start in line with it so I just see how some of your old systems that you've got you're just going to take it out and align it with the current new systems that you, that you are putting in place in order for it to look good 
to function good and to be very effective. If you're just going to leave the old things that is there, it's going to frustrate you in the long run. So just think about it, pray over it, and use God's wisdom. Be blessed. Amen. And to Marina, the Lord says, don't look at that, look at me. Don't focus on the the, the, the dark in, in others, but look for the light and pray for the light in others. The Lord shows me how you are hoping how you are how you know that there is a light the lord says pray for that light to consume consume the i see there's many people that you are praying for pray for that light to consume them um his glory his presence but focus your eyes first on him don't look at all of the all of that dark stuff because that if you look at that too long that is what is that is what will consume you. The Lord says, look at His light and let that be the center of it all. Be blessed. Hi, Marina. So the Lord shows me a, a square of uh, with boundaries and that's your territory, your responsibility. And I felt as, when you're in your territory, massive joy, massive fun, happiness. The moment you go over your boundary and you're trying to help someone else or you go into a territory where it's not your responsibility, Massive hurt, crying, pain, sadness. <laughs> no. And so I just felt that the Lord says, just stay inside of your camp. And it's almost like this, like that electric fence. You know, when you touch the electric fence, it tells you, hey, don't go over it. And so that, just in the same way, the Holy Spirit is just going to help you to define your responsibilities because He wants you to be happy. And part of the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So the Lord wants you to stay in the zone of joy in your life. Okay, but I know, thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, you also are a blessing to me in my own life. Um, um, I also bless uh, Johan. Uh, so now the next person I want to minister to is Alida. Okay, uh, so Alida, um, you know when you see the, the seven stick, candlestick uh, like that in the tabernacle, uh, there's uh, seven branches. So it's three, and then they got the center where they pour the oil, and then three again. So the Lord gave me a word. Promotion, promotion, promotion. That's the first three. Then baby. And then promotion, promotion, promotion. So I felt you're going to really uh, excel maybe in a school, and excel in a sport, and excel in your marriage, uh, and you know, where you work, and then comes the baby. And then after that, you're going to excel again and excel again and excel again. I don't know if there's a baby again, but that's, I just saw the one there in the middle with this promotion, 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 baby, promotion, promotion, promotion. That's what the Lord showed me. God bless you. Amen. I mean, that's a very cool word. Alita, God loves you so much. Um, we love you very much. So the picture God showed me for you was how um, you were in a train state. You were by a train station and you just saw all these, but they were at, at the past, the last time you were there, they were like older trains, you know, those trains, the olden days. And now you see all these new modern trains and then and now it's like different. And I just feel the Lord says, um, shoulders back, head up, pretend like you've been here before and, and like, you're, I'm with you, so you're, so you're confident. And I just see how you take a deep breath out and then all of a sudden God covers you with his glory and it's like you're the bravest person ever. And I just see how you get into that train, the right one, God tells you so clearly, and then it goes so fast and so smooth. And I just feel the Lord says that I will give you the witness, but you're going to be like, God, when should I say this is my cue to get off this train and to, to go to the stop I need to go? And the Lord says, I will tell you. So I just feel the Lord says, trust in me come and under my covering boldness and and speak when i tell you to speak god loves you alida um we love you god bless you awesome thank you alida for being here please write us a comment we love to hear from you uh the next word is for malvina malvina the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture in dirty water you've got one of these buckets that they use to uh collect gold where they sift the gold out um and i just see how you were panning and uh, you were wondering, should I leave this dirty water? And when you lift up the bucket, there was gold flakes in it. And you realized, well, this is the place still that provides. And I just see how the Lord says, uh, do not move. Because if you move to clear waters, the provision is not going to be there as it is here and now. And I just see how the Lord says, because you are faithful, I'm going to show you the right spots as well and the right way to do it. So God's actually going to improve the results but even though the waters may still look not so clean be blessed 
Hey, man, Miss Malvina, the Lord shows me how he's coming and he's bandaging up your arm and he's giving you strength to hold this, to hold this cup that he has given you. He says, do not, do not let it go. Do not let one single drop go. Hold this cup. I'm giving you strength. I'm holding you up. The Lord shows me how he says that I'm going to lift your head, my daughter, that even in the sorrowful, even in the joy, that he is going to be the sun that shines, that light that shines in your life. So do not fear. Lean on to the Holy Spirit and He will guide you. He is speaking to you. Receive those words. Be blessed. Hey, what's up, Malvina? I hope I'm not messing with you. But I saw how you sponsored a child. You sponsored a child financially, emotionally, spiritually. Someone that, that, that could maybe be a family member but a, a young person a child and you walk a right with that child all right that's what god showed me second thing i saw a, a hatch and how you're just serving many people food through the hatch and i felt that the lord is going to give you so much revelation and he's going to give you a platform from where you can share that love that god has given to you i i also saw how you it was maybe some friends of you could be Karen or I don't know who you pray with exactly but I saw how you and a few friends really pray and how the Lord really covers you and loves you it's like the anointing oil just drips off of you but it's because of this camaraderie of you and a few friends praying together anyway that's what the Lord chose me God bless you Malvina I, um, I want to minister to Lawrence Lawrence the Lord chose me you and your father. Now, I'm not sure if it's your biological father or Malvina's dad, um, but I saw you with your father, and then you loved him, you spend time with him, you encourage him, you find him regularly, and you become really good friends with him, and you mean a lot to him, and you show a lot of honor to him by spending and putting time aside to be with him. And then as you do it, I see how the Lord then comes, and he puts that father blessing that's on your father onto you. And just massive expansion that comes to you into your life. Um, you know, in the Bible we read about Isaac. And he found all these wells and he took the stones out. And he was just, the, the business just grew, I think, like a thousand times. Just because of all these wells that he discovered. And he took the rocks out and the, and the water was flowing. And I just see these wells opening in you. Uh, of the, the blessing and the wealth of God in your life because you honor your father. God bless you. Amen, Lawrence. God loves you so much. And I just, I, I felt it was very, it was very cool that dad said, um, because you honor your father, there's going to be blessings. I just feel the Lord says that you are going to live a long life, mm. prosperous life. And the word says when we honor our father and mother, they will, we will have a long life. And I just feel that's what God is giving you. And I just feel there's an anointing for you to be a writer. I just see how you're writing all these revelations and words that God says to you. And I don't know if it's going to be just for family or if it's going to be out, but, but I, I just feel how the Lord says, I've called you to be a writer. And I feel like there will be a time where you write, write a book. Please pray about it. But I just feel how the Lord has given you a gift to be a writer. God loves you, Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Lawrence, for being here. Uh, please write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, the next word is for Shamayne. Shamayne, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you on a swing and you're really enjoying the swing and you're going higher and higher and one of the thoughts that came into your mind was, is this change on the swing really strong enough? And I just hear how the Lord says, yes, don't focus on that. Focus on your assignment. Focus on reaching new heights, but enjoy what you are doing the focus is to enjoy because when you enjoy what you're going to do you're going to put love into it and when you put your love into it it's going to prosper and i see you're called to make things to prosper through the love that you put in them be blessed and Auntie Charmaine, the Lord shows me how how you awake in the middle of the night and how you go and you stand in front of your house and you have like this 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 oil torch stick thingy and how you are just like proclaiming the word of God and how and the Lord shows me how how you have been crying but you but you stand up you say and then you just proclaim the word of God over your house and the Lord shows me how there comes a brand new covering over you 
and and on your house, but more so like on on your kids. How as you pray and as you intercede and you are crying before the Lord, this bubble just comes over each and every one of your kids. And the Lord shows me how in this bubble is just full of light, and how these how these angels are coming and they are ministering to your kids in the night. And the Lord says that is going to be because of your obedience to His call to to awake yourself that no matter what time of the day or no matter what time of the night when you hear his call to start interceding for your family that is an important call because the Lord shows me that over you and over your house is such is, is so thin the presence of the Lord the, the gateway to the presence of the Lord is so thin that there's not a, a heavy barrier the Lord says hear my call and come into my presence and start praying be blessed hey all right Charmaine I saw you going higher, plateau, and now you're going higher again. And that's what the Lord is helping you to do, is to go higher. Also, I see uh, administrative anointing for finances come in your life. So I don't know if you see yourself as Ian's partner in business, but I just see that the Lord is putting you in a partnership with him and you bring an administrative financial anointing to the business. Um, so, Charmaine, we love and appreciate you. Please write a comment. Okay, so the next word is for Ian. Okay, so Ian, the Lord shows me the quality of your product double. I see you. Uh, your quality of your product is right now here, and how you just massively increase the value that you bring to your customers and the quality of your product. And I felt that the Lord says you're not even going to have to advertise because you're going to be so busy. You're not going to know uh, 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 what to do. Uh, so you don't have to. Uh, people are just going to say, wow, this guy uh, gives a quality product. And because of that, I can highly recommend him. And people are going to say it to one another. And so it's almost as if the Lord says, I will take over the marketing department to make sure you have work. But you have to take care of the quality of the product and bring that up. To the next level and i i also felt that the lord says you're going to be able to charge double the amount you charge now when you bring up the quality of your product god bless you Ian. amen um, uncle ian the picture god showed me for you was how i saw um I saw land, I saw property, um, so I just feel the Lord says that He's just going to, uh, I just see how you're buying land, and I, and I saw how it looked fruitful, it looked very prosperous, a lot of cosmos flowers, and I just feel the Lord says, I'm just going to bless your land, and then um, I, I just see how you you, you come to before the Lord, and, and you um, give Him, and you, and you just, give, just give Him all your praise and worship to Him, and how it just pleases Him, and the Lord says, um, um, I, I'm just knighting you. I just see how God is giving you a brand new sword and and just equipping you with the new weapons that you need for this new um, for this new season in your life. God loves you, Uncle Ian. We love you. Amen. Thank you, Ian, for being just <laughs> yeah. Please write us a comment. Uh, make sure you write your comments. So, okay, okay. The next word is for Willem. Thank you very much for the word. I really appreciate it. It, it really means a lot to me. So, now, Willem, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of gears working, but there's one of the gears that is, is not functioning fluently. So it gets stuck from time to time. And then you're not sure what to do. It feels like your whole life comes to a standstill. And I just see how the Lord gives you wisdom to rectify that problem and how your gear is running smoothly. He's throwing some oil on that gear, so the anointing is going to help you to flow. And I just see because of a small adjustment in your life, it's going to make a very, very big impact in your life. But don't, uh, don't be frustrated. Just go to the Lord and He's going to give you wisdom. And when you apply it, you're going to receive more than double. Be blessed. Amen. Uh um, Willem, the Lord shows me how He has given you this this really, really big heart that is full of love. And the Lord shows me how how you have so much room to receive more from Him because you have such a big heart and you are so open. The Lord shows me how you go on walks or or even when you go for a run. The Lord says, take that time when you are when you are by yourself and and with your dog. That the Lord says, focus on me. That, that is let that time where you go and and work on yourself and exercise yourself the lord says exercise your spirit as well during that time D don't think of that time like okay i'm gonna better myself 
think of that time that I'm going to I'm going to press into the presence of God and and grow my spirit man and the Lord says that he is going to reveal to you so much for for your future and 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 for and for um your 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 reach be blessed hey awesome uh, Willem, uh, I just see how the Lord raise you up as the priest in your house, how you pray for your house, how you get prophetic words, how you uh, even, you know, read out of the word and you just declare the word at your house, with your house, with uh, Lelani and um, uh, the, the blessing of God flow out of you. Um, so Lelani, what the Lord showed me is two camps. The one camp is the camp of fun and joy and adventure. And the other camp is the camp of responsibility and work. And I see how Willem is just having fun in the camp, camp of fun and joy and adventure. And how you in the responsibility camp. And how the Lord says, daughter, I'm taking responsibility for you. You don't have to. And so you can move yourself from the, the responsibility and work camp into the fun and joy and adventure camp. And I just see a shift. And then there's just so much more. Uh, flowing out of you, more unity, more of the blessing. Scripture says in Psalm 133 that the unity commands blessing and so the Lord wants to bring blessing but it's necessary for you and Willem to come into unity with uh, with one another. The Lord loves you very, very much. God bless you Lelani. Amen Lelani, God loves you so much. While praying for you, I just saw a picture of God's cloud and His glory around you and I just feel the Lord says that I'm giving you a blessing of overflow and, and, and it was like, it, it was it was just so loving, um, the, the, the anointing God has given you. And then Lani, I, I just feel how the Lord is really giving you vision. The Lord is giving you some excitement for the future and what he has for you. And then I just see how the Lord is giving you these books. I feel that this year you're going to read like three books that are really going to inspire you and really give you a kickstart. So I don't know if you love to read or not. I, I feel like you do. Um, I just feel the Lord says he's, yeah. you're going to have really be so inspired god's really going to speak to you in this time god loves you god bless you hey awesome thank you very much uh, and Lelani. uh god bless you and so family thank you it was wonderful for us to minister to you today um and uh, uh please write a comment it's awesome to know you you're a blessing to me god bless